The news broke from the Pentagon, but the full story is still developing. Pentagon officials say the partial remains of 9-11 victims were sent to a landfill to be buried after they could not be identified. Officials say the remains came from the destruction of the Pentagon and the site in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. The Defense Department acknowledged that a small amount of remains were incinerated and then dumped into a mortuary landfill. General John Abizade commented from the Pentagon, where he said that the individual state's laws are not consistent in their definitions of a final resting place for human remains. I understand how sensational the notion is. There was a point where people considered going to the crematorium, and in some states it's law, that that is the final disposition of the fallen. However, the oversight could not be ignored by some experts who believe that the mistreatment of the dead is a culture problem within the U.S. military. To disrespect your own, that shows there is a somewhat of a crisis within uh, the Pentagon and the U.S. military in, in regarding, regarding uh, respecting the, the, the dead. It's the first time that the Pentagon has openly admitted that some remains of 9-11 victims were taken to the Dover Air Force Base mortuary and then later disposed of in a landfill. There have been other instances of mishandling at Arlington Cemetery when soldiers' remains were put into the wrong graves. They to tell this story other than to just tell it straight because it's so disturbing on so many uh, levels here. Uh, U.S. military records show that the Air Force dumped the remains of at least 274 American soldiers in a Virginia landfill, and that number is far greater than the military had previously acknowledged before stopping this secretive practice three years ago. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, February 27th, 2012, and I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com. Also on YouTube, it's ddarko2012. My new backup channel is ddarko2013. So please check them out. All the links, or most of the links, will be posted in YouTube's video description, which I recommend because I just do a kind of a brief highlight of all these different articles, wrap them up in story form, and I expect, I'd hope, if you have time to go and check out those links so that you can do your own research without uh, and then so you know next time if you try to make comments about why don't you go into this more why don't you go into this more why don't you go into this more like i said before make your own videos do it your own way you know you want to have it your way do it your own way but if you don't like my the way i do it the way i present it, these articles then i'm sorry i don't know what to do i'm not gonna cater to you i'm gonna take what you say into consideration serious consideration but don't tell me how to run my news so just go in and check out the headlines and do the work yourself as well. Veterans and troops set to lose health benefits under Obama's budget. That's right. Veterans are going to lose health benefits under Obama's budget. Remember I talked about this before when I was talking or actually reporting on uh, Leon Panetta's and the, the DOD talking about cutting down their budget, slimming down their budget. Well, they're really just they're modifying it, you know, they're done with the whole nation building and regime changes for the most part. And now it's kind of covert, you know, for the drugs, for the trafficking, for the, you know, banking fraud, for the quote terrorism. Uh, it's, you know, it's all just the new, it's a new business, the, the piracy, right? This is all the elites, their own little private uh, enterprise here. And so they're going to have their own little private special force armies uh, to take care of it. So they'll have SAS and Navy SEALs, um, and stuff like that, but they're going to be scaling down soldiers and, and Marines and stuff like that, and bases even. Uh, but they're still going to have a, a drones. So they're going to um, uh, turn things into robotics, electronics, computers, like I said, drones. And then they're going to have um, these special forces, which eventually they're going to merge into uh, robotic cyborgs. And you think I'm joking. Well, I'm sorry, but it's going to happen. And so what is going to happen, what is happening to these people as they're coming back? Well, they're not getting the care that they need. And oh, yeah, you know, we're just going to throw you under the bus too. So they're going to cut the funding to the soldiers who helped build this world empire for them. One of the biggest areas of contention is the increase of health care fees that specifically target military retirees by boosting their copay charges and deductibles. They hope that the uh, the pressure on the retirees would have them opt out of their veterans' benefits and sign up for the program put in place by Obama's controversial Affordable Care Act, which was approved in 2010. Now we have police misconduct newsfeed weekend recap uh, February 25th, 2012 to February 26th, 2012. Kind of a cool little site I found. 
Um, and we have here, here's 10 reports of police misconduct uh, tracked in our National Police Misconduct News Feed for this weekend. It says Chicago police are being uh, sued on allegations that an unspecified number of officers spent several minutes trying to concoct a story to cover up how they sneaked into an innocent man's property, then shot him in the stomach instead of calling an ambulance to help the man they shot. San Diego, California Sheriff Sergeant, three deputies are accused of racial profiling, illegal search, and other civil rights uh, violations by a retired cop who was detained and threatened. Sarasota, Florida police are being investigated by the ACLU over a videotape arrested of a disabled veteran at an Occupy event for chalk writing at the park. Hillsborough County, Florida deputy resigns on allegations he paid for sex with a teen girl. He started a relationship when she was 13. Prosecutors refused to press charges as the girl, now working as a porn actress, refused to cooperate. New Mexico State trooper jumps woman's fence and fatally shoots her dog while responding to her call about a scam after she requested that police notify her before they came so that she could secure a dog. Then again in Florida, a cop is accused of needlessly shooting a small dog three times near the 13-year-old boy claims it was biting his shoe. The family disputes the claim, but even if true, a small dog biting uh, your shoe hardly seems justification for using deadly force. Next up, in uh, Louisiana, sheriff and sheriff's major arrested on computer fraud, ID theft charges, and FBI agents served a search warrant. And I'll finish up with this. Uh, Louisiana uh, sheriff was convicted of conspiracy to possess methamphetamine with intent to distribute on charges. I might as well go with this. Georgia cop arrested on drunk driving charge after backing into a vehicle while leaving a parking spot. So we'll leave it at that. Former Indiana State Police post commander gets 20-year sentence. Indiana, particularly troubling case. And it goes on there and it says uh, that a, a former Indiana State Police told post commander... Uh, basically pleaded guilty to six counts of forgery, one count of misconduct, and ten uh, counts of theft and stealing of $91,000 donated police funds. So, Americans' outrage over U.S. police use of fatal tactics, a string of controversies over the killing of unarmed Americans by the police, have raised serious questions about the country's law enforcement uh, system. And you go back and you can see that there's been different ones. You can go in there and check that out. Links will be posted. But in uh, California, Orange County, Sheriff Deputy shot an unarmed Marine. Um, he died inside of his vehicle in a parking lot with his 14-year-old daughter as they were returning home. Um, also, we have uh, the fatal shooting of an unarmed 18-year-old uh, in his grandmother's bathroom by officers. That's right. And then uh, also we had, what, in Florida, officer who tasered an unarmed, handcuffed 20-year-old until she was brain dead and cleared of wrongdoing. Don't forget, in February 19th, Oakland officer shot and seriously wounded Tony Jones, cousin of Oscar Grant, who fatal shooting by a police officer in 2009 became a rallying point for Oakland anti-police demonstrators who considered the case as an example of U.S. police brutality and racism. So, yeah, just throwing the racism with everything, I guess. But goodbye, First Amendment trespass bill will make protesting illegal. So, just when you thought it was going to get worse, the House of Representatives approved a bill on Monday that protests in instances where some government officials are nearby, whether or not you even know. And in the U.K., they've actually pondered... Um, uh, just banning protests altogether, too. So DHS tracked Occupy. And the only reason they allow you to do that is just to allow you to bang your pots and pans, you know, because they don't expect you to really do anything. Just kind of, you know, go and vote every four years and get the same type of system, right? So, I mean, uh, the only time they're going to do that is if you guys are actually making some kind of real, uh, uh, I don't know, like it's spreading worldwide and everybody is waking up. But I don't, I don't see that happening. At this point in time, DHS tracked Occupy Wall Street to control protesters. And just one quick thing, it's like the social uh, networks. They only allow us to use that um, so that they can, we can use it against ourselves, you know. So uh, a lot of people, they'll actually be tracked. Like in that video I showed before, police were saying, yeah, we were tracking the Occupy protesters uh, with their own cell phones, with their own phones and their own uh, stuff, right? So <laughs> Facebook and tweeting. So it's all set up to help enslave you even further. Yeah, like with our personal computers, well, you know, it's all just linked up to one big supercomputer with all of our information. And the only reason I'm really kind of doing all this right here is just to get the information out, right? 
at my own expense, like with Google. I'll probably end up still using my Google account, and all that stuff will be tracked and traced. But I don't care, man, if it gets the word out. So DHS tracked Occupy Wall Street to control protesters. So there you go. There, There's the actual information. Leaked documents reveal federal government tracked Occupy Wall Street protesters because it feared the movement could turn violent, right? So next up, you don't want uh, violent sheep, right? Report London no safer for all its CCTV cameras. Civil rights group Big Brother Watch has accused Britain of having an out-of-control surveillance culture. <laughs> they do. They have way more cameras than even people <laughs> in their country that is doing little to improve public safety. Just like the traffic light cameras, red light cameras, there's no proof that they actually help uh, prevent accidents. They actually improve, uh, improve, increase them because people are slamming on their brakes to avoid tickets. Inter and those things aren't cheap. Some of them are like 150 bucks. Interpol arrests 25 suspected anonymous hackers, suspected members of Anonymous, and a swoop covering more than a dozen cities in Europe and Latin America. A global police body said on Tuesday. Nice, right? Global government's own police force. Two years of tweets now for sale to marketers, now offering companies access to two years of tweets, making it available for math, vast amounts of uh, market research information. And, of course, that's always in the guise of advertising, uh, but they want information on every single person, everything about them. Uh, BC, British Columbia, pays way for all-in-one identity card ID to start out uh, as more secure care card. Do you have a choice? No. You, don't, you never had a say, no debate. You're just going to have it shoved down your throats, Canadian. And if you don't have something shoved down your throats by the New World Order, uh, they'll try to sell it to you, right? Oh, you want it. It's good for you, you know? RFID, you could uh, keep track of your lost dog, of your lost child, right? Until eventually it's mandatory. Medical tattoos offer important health information. That's right. These medical tattoos are being used to take the place of, oh, the bracelets that commonly list a person's allergies, chronic diseases, or even end-of-life wishes. Next up, we have EU tells Google that their privacy policy could violate laws and ask for a delay. So the reg European regulators are warning Google that its new privacy policy to take effect on Thursday appears to violate privacy rules, and they ask the search line to delay the changes. So hopefully they do for all of us, but I don't see that happening. Either way, White House and NSA are clashing over the monitoring of private company networks. Right, like the White House is actually representing you. I doubt that very much. And we all know what the NSA is there to do, so they're just kind of uh, playing a big charade. So I'm not going to waste my time with that. Go in there and check it out if you like to read it. U.S. Info Ops, Information Ops Programs, Dubious and Costly. And this, of course, is talking about the propaganda, which rose from 9 million to 580 million a year in Iraq and Afghanistan, telling the Afghans, you know, that basically the Taliban's their enemy. They're dropping leaflets out of the sky, billboards. But I'm sure that this goes into the internet as well, i.e., troll bloggers. And I know they exist because I've actually seen the little um, printout, the file. Uh, JPEG of the Air Force's little flow chart that they go down when they're dealing with people to quote um, the truth they they make want to make sure that the truth is being told. Uh, Scroogle shuts down for good so that's right our buddy Scroogle has been shut down uh, voluntarily by David Brandt so uh, people are feeling the heat right now with this um, with this kind of clamp down on the internet. You can try Start Page it's a good little page it's just startpage.com so go check it out. So DHS says that the backscatter units, i.e. the airport body scanners, are okay in, from February 2012. That's right. Independent surveys conducted prior to deployment of these airport body scanners conclude that these radiation levels from the scanners are below established limits. Some U.S. scientists think that these naked airport body scanners may be dangerous. Expect a rash of water damage scanners at airports. Who knew the TSA's porno scanners were... Uh, Sorry, delicate enough that a little water would sideline them, but that's what happened in Texas, according to Aviation Director Lubbock Preston uh, Smith International Airport. He says a, quote, nearby air conditioning unit has leaked on them less than a month after the TSA unveiled its new less invasive scanners promising to keep up security while protecting passenger privacy. So basically, they went back to the old pat-down method. Attorney General reviewing NYPD spying complaints. After months of receiving complaints about the NYPD surveillance of the entire Muslim community, the Justice Department's a review to decide whether to investigate civil rights. So they're beginning a review to decide whether they're going to investigate it. Wow. So, and we all know it's backed by the CIA, right? New government initiative would circumvent Second Amendment by targeting ammunition and not guns. Kind of knew that was the plan the whole time, right? Not to ban guns, but to make ammunition almost impossible to get. I have a 2% surtax on ammunition. Then we have shame of anti-gun campaigner who misled labor conference over eight murdered family members. 
Researchers found her talking to some of the, quote, victims on Facebook. She admitted that they are not dead and are, in fact, live and well. So the recent school shooting in Ohio was an outcast gunman. Let's focus on that. Let's focus on uh, it was his grandfather's gun. Let's not focus on society and what causes this. Let's focus on the gun. Maybe create some kind of uh, bullying law, right? So Obama orders waivers of new rules on the NDAA, uh, allowing U.S. law enforcement to retain custody of al-Qaeda terrorism suspects rather than hand them over to the military. It was with reservation. No, it was Obama who included U.S. citizens as part of the wording. This is GGN, and I'm Darko. Thank you.